Hunt Showdown has been a unique entry in the world of first-person shooters since its release. With a blend of PvP and PvE elements, it's a game that challenges players not just to survive, but to outsmart their opponents. One of the strongest aspects of Hunt Showdown is the variety it offers. There's a plentiful amount of content here to keep hunters busy. The game provides several modes, each catering to different playstyles. For those who enjoy perfecting their aim and learning the ins and outs of their gear, there's the shooting range. This mode allows players to test their weapons and equipment, ensuring they're fully prepared for the challenges ahead. For a more structured experience, Hunt offers Trials Mode, where players can test their skills and unlock various rewards. It's a great way to practice while earning something tangible. The Quick Play Mode is another exciting option, especially for solo players. It's a solo-only mode that plays more like a traditional battle royale. The twist? If you're the last one standing, you can take that character into your main roster, making them a valuable addition to your team. The main mode, Bounty Hunt, is where the game truly shines. This is the core experience of the game, where players can choose to play solo, as duos, or in trios. Currently, the game offers three maps for players in both Quick Play and Bounty Hunt modes. The game also has five different bounty bosses, each with unique challenges. Some bosses, like the Butcher, are immune to certain types of damage, such as fire. This forces players to strategize and adapt their approach, making every hunt a unique experience. The progression system in Hunt Showdown is another aspect that has evolved and improved over the years. Players can progress from level 1 to 100, and even after reaching level 100, the game offers a prestige system that allows you to start over with added bonuses. You can prestige up to 100 times, offering a long-term goal for dedicated players. One of the more recent updates has made the prestige system more accessible. At level 1, players now start with every base weapon in the game. As you level up through match XP, you'll unlock new perks, equipment, and consumables to outfit your hunter. This change has made the game feel less like a grind, allowing players to focus more on strategy and skill rather than simply unlocking gear. The progression system in Hunt Showdown is solid and continues to improve. It's designed to keep both new and veteran players engaged, offering plenty of rewards for those willing to put in the time. A crucial factor in determining whether a game is worth playing years after its release is the player base. Fortunately, Hunt Showdown is still going strong in 2024. Since its full release in 2018, the player base has grown steadily each year. According to SteamDB, Hunt Showdown averages around 9,700 players per day on Steam, which is 2,000 more than last year. In 2023, the game broke its record for concurrent players, with over 45,000 players online at once. These numbers are promising and indicate that the game has a healthy and growing community. Crytek, the developers of Hunt Showdown, show no signs of slowing down, consistently releasing new events, seasons, and updates to keep the game fresh. One of the most important questions when considering whether to play Hunt Showdown in 2024 is whether the game is fun. The answer is a resounding yes, but with a caveat. It is incredibly fun, but it's also one of the most challenging first-person shooters out there. New players should be prepared to face a steep learning curve. The game demands patience, as you'll likely face a lot of losses early on. The world is filled with enemies both human and AI, each posing a significant threat. Success in Hunt requires a mix of skill, strategy, and a bit of luck. For those who enjoy a challenge, Hunt Showdown offers one of the most thrilling risk-reward experiences in gaming. It's a unique blend of a Western, monster hunting, PvP, PvE extraction shooter. The game's atmosphere, combined with its intense gameplay, makes for an unforgettable experience. Hunt Showdown has a reputation for having a steep learning curve, but that's not entirely accurate. The basic gameplay mechanics are straightforward. If you get shot, you take damage. If you shoot, you better land your shots. However, mastering the game is where the challenge lies. The game offers a wide variety of weapons, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Finding the right weapon for your playstyle is key. Some players might prefer the quick reload time of a Winfield, while others might opt for the powerful but slow firing sparks. One of the most important skills in the game is listening. Crytek has done an excellent job with the audio design, making it a crucial part of the gameplay. Every sound, whether it's a stick breaking, crows cawing in the distance, or footsteps on wood, can give you valuable information about what's happening around you. Understanding the basics of the game is easy, but refining your skills takes time. The more you play, the better you'll get at interpreting the sounds, sights, 
and instincts that the game relies on. A key concern for many players is whether the game is still being updated. Hunt Showdown has continued to receive regular updates, balancing changes, and new content. Crytek has consistently added new weapons, bosses, and map layouts to keep the game fresh. One of the more exciting recent additions is Rotjaw, a giant crocodile boss that hangs out in the swamps. Unlike other bosses that are usually inside buildings, Rotjaw is out in the open, requiring players to rethink their strategies. Crytek has also announced an engine upgrade that's expected to roll out soon. This upgrade is crucial for the future of the game, as it will allow for more content updates. However, it's important to note that this upgrade will end support for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Players will need to upgrade to PlayStation 5 or a newer Xbox generation to continue playing. Hunt Showdown features matchmaking rating system designed to match players with others of similar skill levels. For the most part, the system works well and players can expect balanced matches. However, like any competitive game, there are exceptions. Some higher ranked players might lower their MMR intentionally to enter lower ranked lobbies, making matches more difficult for others. As a solo player hunt, Showdown can be incredibly challenging. The game is designed with team play in mind, so solo players often find themselves at a disadvantage. If you have the opportunity to play with friends, it's highly recommended. Not only does it make the game more enjoyable, but it also reduces the frustration of playing alone. After exploring all these aspects, the big question remains, is Hunt Showdown still worth playing in 2024? The answer is yes, but it comes with some considerations. If you're someone who enjoys a challenging, skill-based game, then Hunt Showdown is definitely worth your time. Thanks for watching, and until next time, catch you in the next video.